We are approximately um, two months away from substantial completion of the majority of the project. So this will be the main entrance. Um, it's not here yet, but there'll be an exterior plaza. Here you'll come into a pretty expansive lobby. How tall is this here? How many feet? It's about 50 feet. These aren't the final doors, but these are the doors that go into the locker room. This panel will light up back lid. It'll have each player, a graphic for each player, their number and some info on it. Uh, the lower panel with our logo will light up. When it's closed up, that's the actual seat but they can open it, open the seat, and access a lot of the space behind it. It's a pretty unique design. Uh, the, the stuff that they will use on a daily basis you know, will be in a little cubby hole right here, as well as they have a lock space, a place for their helmet that's lit. And then another cool feature is their, uh, their shoulder pads are actually up here. So you, you reach the shoulder pads to bring that down. So kind of from where we are right now, explain kind of how the whole locker room flows together. So we're in the very center of the locker room right now. There'll be an oval, oval logo in the ceiling here. But during like halftime pregame, this is where coach can stand. The team can gather near him here in the center of the locker room. You know, Barry Odom comes right from here from giving his pregame speech, and we're just mere feet walking through that bunker club. There'll be a roll-up door here straight out to the field, right there. It's about half inside, half outside, so you have this indoor space. There'll be garage doors that on nice weather we can open or close. You can gather outside as well too, so literally you can stand out on the edge of the bunker club and high-five someone after they scored a touchdown. Tim, how much bigger is this weight room going to be than the one that currently exists? Yeah, it's not quite twice, but it's close. Uh, almost twice the almost size of the current weight room. total. So we've got a pretty large nutrition station in here. We also have a plyo ramp. You see that ramp on the side? So there'll be a, a turfed ramp so they can work out pushing sleds uphill. Uh, this will be a glass wall and into the hydro area. This immediate square pool right here that we see closest is our recovery pool. It can hold about 55 people at a time. We have a balcony too that are the offices actually for the staff. So the staff offices, uh, the strength staff, is uh, housed on the balcony overlooking this space. So these are the suites, huh? That's not a bad view. So this is the view from a suite. And the club seats are right down there, right? Yes. Uh, we'll have a number of TVs throughout here uh, that we'll be able to show, obviously, our game and other games that might be going on. And now we'll go up to three, and that's where you find coaches' offices, right? This is the full team room. And this is the secondary room, so either offense or defense could meet. Most of the time, this would be our team place for them to hang out. So they'll have gaming systems up here. There's more on that wall. There'll be pool tables, there's ping pong tables. You'll want to come out here and hang out. On game day, it would be a place where we bring recruits and host recruits. This is Coach's office right here. Well, obviously, we want it to be a great space for him to work, but but also you know make an impact uh, when he's visiting with families and recruits. How much of a, of a game changer is this going to be for the program, especially now that you're seeing like how this is coming together? And it, I mean, it's so real now. Hey, yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's going to be a huge game changer. You know, for our team specifically. Uh, it's state-of-the-art. That weight room is state-of-the-art. The hydrotherapy for the fans as well. I mean, it brings action closer to the field, uh, whether it's the bunker club, the show-me club, or a suite. General public seating as well in, in the south end zone. Uh, additional services of restrooms and concessions, which we didn't have before. There's going to be no better uh, spaces for teams to train and to get better every day than this space.